Prosperity shares a little bit lower today, despite an earnings beat uh, and uh, taking a hit uh, off of a couple of one-off charges, which caught a lot of banks, by the way, the FDIC charges uh, that I guess are traceable right. back to Silicon Valley Bank. That was uh, a few cents off of earnings, wasn't it? Right. We, uh, I think we posted earnings around $95 million. Uh, if you took out the FDIC uh, assessment that we had to pay to cover the uh, the, the Silicon Valley Bank and the Signature Bank it would have been probably that was about 19.9 million. So if, after tax, it would have been about 111 million dollars, I think, for yeah. the for the quarter. I'm I'm very interested. You have like 285 full service banking operations, of which I, I guess 90 percent are in Texas. The Texas economy is doing pretty doggone good, isn't it? And so your bank ought to be doing great. The economy is doing good. Uh, Obviously, interest rates going up with the Fed uh, raising the interest rates. It, it has impacted uh, the loan the loan volume a little bit. On the other hand, the economic activity and the job growth still remains extremely solid. So, uh, a, a very good economy, no question about it. So that was that was one of the things I wanted to to uh, point to, and that is that I guess is it loan volume or is it either the number of loans or the amount of loans down. A little bit, and that you trace back to rising interest rates and people's sort of being more cautious or not taking on as much uh, debt. Well, if you look at our particular situation, we actually increased um, loans by about twelve percent oh. for the year. But part of that part of that increase came from uh, an acquisition. So if you took the acquisition part out of the out of out of the the cake there. Basically, we would have had about a 4.9 percent uh, increase in loans year over year. The third quarter, we had a decrease in the third quarter, which was natural. But I think we told most of the people that we would hit about a, a single to mid-digit growth in loans mm. for the year. And that's kind of what we ended up doing. I guess the number I was looking at was total loans down 1.2 percent quarter over quarter. Over quarter. Is that, quarter. That's over a quarter. Is that right? That, yes. And that's in the third quarter. And it goes back to what I, I was saying. I think that you did see, as interest rates increased, you did see borrowers kind of be more hesitant. Watch what they were borrowing. Even um, even, even your commercial and industrial customers, where they had a lot of money in, in checking accounts, instead of paying the higher rate, they elected a lot to pay these things down. But again, uh, having said that, we, we still are looking for some growth next year at the same time for the first part of the mm -hmm. year right now where we're at. We, we still see... we still. We're kind of ahead. We'll still see some growth. We think the growth will probably be more in the second half of the year than the first half. Prosperity has this rather muscular presence in Texas, as I mentioned a moment ago, also in Oklahoma. Where will the growth come from? Will you add uh, stores in Texas? Will you add them in Oklahoma? Will you go into Louisiana? Where? What? You know, we really have, with the 280-something stores that we have, I think that we have enough stores. We'll, we'll probably do two things. We're, we do uh, mergers and acquisitions, so that'll always be part part of our story mm -hmm. at the same time. But but the state of Texas is growing so much, and Oklahoma, that just the growth from the people that are coming in, the job growth, and and people having to have new homes, and people starting new businesses, it, it, the infrastructure that you have to put in for for all this for all these people coming in. Mm -hmm. So. With the growth coming in, it, it almost has a natural growth to itself because of, because because so many people are moving to the state.